Dr. Benson Bana, Tanzanian High Commissioner to Nigeria, says the adoption of Kiswahili as Africa's official language by the African Union will help unite, strengthen the continent, and bridge diversity. Bana made this known in Abuja during a pre event media briefing ahead of the World Kiswahili Language Day inaugural celebration on July 14. Bana said that the adoption of a working language among African countries will foster the integration of the AU agenda and realization of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. Bana said that the High Commission will, on July 14 in Abuja, celebrate the inaugural World Kiswahili Day under the mandate of the Government of the United Republic of Tanzania, which is the home of Kiswahili. Diversities are inescapable on the African continent. We subscribe to different religions, different political orientations, different ideologies. We come from different backgrounds, different historical paths, but we should take our diversities as our strength. The reason why I think this decision would have been made long ago to have a unifying factor, a language that unifies Africa. In Africa now we have, we are here. at the AU level, it's English, it's French, it's uh, uh, Arabic, it's uh, uh, Portuguese sometimes, and why not Kiswahili? Why not Hausa? Notwithstanding our diversities, having a common language, and today Kiswahili, is a right decision at the right time and in the right direction. So I have no problem. Let us live with our diversities, but let us a common unifying factor. Tanzania, all Tanzania, we are about 60 million people today, but we all speak Kiswahili. That has become our unifying factor. And we sacrificed a lot. The languages of about 125 tribes they speak their mother tongue language fine, but we don't use those languages uh, at the national level because they are a divisive tendency. Kiswahili uh, is spoken by about 250 to 300 million people in Eastern Africa, in Central Africa, in Southern Africa. We are in the process of advising countries to, invite, uh, to infuse Kiswahili into their learning packages. In Nigeria, at the mission level, we are in discussion with the University of Port Harcourt. Come August 2022, the University of Port Harcourt leadership and the University of Dar es Salaam in Tanzania will be signing a memorandum of understanding. Uh, we have been working closely with the voice of Nigeria. And as we speak, they have already signed a memorandum of understanding with the Tanzania Broadcasting Corporation to share programs in Kiswahili, to share technical expertise uh, in broadcasting in Kiswahili specifically. To, uh, uh, and as we speak, yesterday in this very room, we had a virtual meeting that brought together the leadership of the University of Ibadan and the leadership of the University of Dar es Salaam to discuss a cooperation modalities that would culminate into the University of Ibadan teaching Swahili language. If we start first and foremost to convince our countries, the African countries particularly, that Kiswahili should become our lingua franc, should become our medium of instruction, our official language, leave alone national language, I think we can go a step ahead. As you know, all reforms, all new innovations require a political push. A political will is paramount, and I believe the will is there. Now that we have established the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement under the auspices of African Union, if our leaders stay firm, realize that without a medium of communication that would serve as a uniting factor, as a uniting variable, uh, we can't ma make any headway to realize the objectives 
of African continental free trade area.